Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome to Natik Yarns here in Elk Grove, California on Tuesday. So beautiful. We had a great weather weekend. It definitely felt like spring. It was so nice. I had the house oh, open all weekend. So nice. It was in the 70s. Yeah. High 70s. So beautiful. I forgot what it felt like to have the sun on my skin <laughs> right? I'm inside so much. But Loren does lots of walking, and so we were walking. I was walking to try and train Hank, and my goodness, because Hank has his final shots, he's legit for actually walking, walking. Yay. So we tried that. Lots of backwards movement. Sorry. Something at yes. the door. Oh, that means a package, everybody. Package. Package. package is Thank exciting. Thanks, you too. That is a baby package. This is what we were waiting for. Ooh. Oh, I'm excited. Yay. Everyone having a good morning? Oop, comments are going. I missed a few. I feel like Trish says it was nice this morning. It definitely was. Such it's a beautiful <laughs> day. Inside the package, I can't share it with you. But it is oh, coming that's, up that's for just... LYS Day. Yes, this, this is, is our painful for customers. I know. <laughs> Their clients are like, tuned. oh no. Okay, let me raise the camera a little so that they don't get a sneak peek. Ooh. Not what I'm thinking. Is that brand? No. Yeah. I don't like it. No, it's not. Not at all. Not at all. No. Okay. Well, we'll try again. All right. It's not what I'm thinking at all. Is it that one? No, it's the fabric one. Oh, yeah, no, not no. at all, no. I think I just want to tell them the colors that I want in it. Yeah. Goodness. Well, all right, we'll we'll try, we'll go on take two for that one. I think that's take three. Well, it's I not know, what I wanted but... at all. But I think what we could do is pull the colors that we like and right. say we want it with this. We, we do our utmost for you folks because if it's not perfect, if it's not what's in the vision, yeah. We don't want it. I don't want it. Oh, I'm a little bummed, though. I know. It's, Because, yeah. I mean, we're getting to the nitty-gritty. We are. So. Oh, goodness gracious. Good morning, mm. everyone. So, that's disappointing. <laughs> okay, on to cheerier things. I know. I'd love well, what we have today. Well, Art Yarns is doing this uh, is true. something for us that I know is going to be gorgeous. And they already have an LYS day. I will be yes. picking it up in That's right. Germany and schlepping it home for Susan. That cracks me up that it's coming from New York to Germany back to California. Right. That's um, all this saves shipping. That's some crazy shipping. Yeah. So, gosh, I'm trying to think, what did I do? Susan and I kind of had a little bit of a <laughs> knit off this weekend. Yes. Now, she hand knit. I machine knit. And... Um, it's, I'm trying to look for some easy projects for people who want to do some garments that are fun, fast, fantastic, both hand and machine knit. So I decided I would do it on the machine. Easy. I mean, once you swatched, so you have to swatch and wash it. Very important. Um, just as important with hand knitting as machine knitting. Um, I'm going to say it took about two hours not including rehanging the ribbing because I yeah. did that. That's about a three hour job. Do you take that off machine to do nope. it? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. I leave it on yeah. and I basically use a pen and decide like where it's going to start. And then I start pushing out right. slightly what needs to be dropped. You get way better at it. Yeah. Um, and the nice thing is it's longer ribbing. So you're like, click, 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 and click, you're click, able click. to do it from the knit side of the fabric, which is so much easier. The pearl side. So you're changing. Well, yeah. Yeah. But you're laddering up. On the outside. They become knits, don't they? They become pearls. Oh, God. Because See, I haven't done it. I don't have they're to already knits. That is true. But it's still easier, right? Because oh, it's yes. the side facing. Million that's times what I'm getting easier. at. Yeah. I haven't done it, so. <laughs> <laughs> Melanie. See, that's what I. Melanie, I love. Melanie is so excited about machine knitting. It, there was this cute socks. And I was like, that. Even though she says that looks that's easy, that's hard because there's a lot of short row shaping oh, and getting yeah. your weights in the right spot. She's doing it for the twelfth time. Still hopeful though, as you should be. Yeah. And then when you do that tank that I was talking about, ugh, easy. 
You're like, this is easy, easy peasy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll do, you should pop on live today. Yeah. Because I can give you tips as we're doing live. Um, so anyway, my project, I actually got it knit. Uh, I sewed it last night and it's drying. So you guys will get to see it soon, but very pretty. I used the brand new uh, Juniper Moon Cotton Merino. And here's what I like about it. Hiding it's back there. <laughs> very fast to knit. You're using 16 stitches over four inches. On my machine, I could use the largest nine. And it, I like it. It's just a simple tank top with thicker very ribbing cute. right here. Interesting enough you increase so the ribbing's a little bit more Ooh, fitted okay and then you increase out i did not do that i thought that was a nice suggestion but i don't want it extra tight here and right. then loose here so i did it um cast on for the bigger size decreased to my best size melanie says so as you go i'm not sure we have do you have the skill for that yet on the machine i got the short rows easy oh did you see as you go wrong i don't know what that oh. means did you sew? Uh, you mean seaming the sides? I'm maybe? not. No, I no, I'm not doing that. I need a tutorial with Juan. Yeah. I I don't understand it, and because the way your right sides are, it doesn't make sense to my brain. And truthfully, I love seaming. I find it relaxing. So it's I'm kind of fun once you get in the rhythm. Yeah, I'm yeah. happy to hand seam. Good morning, good morning, everyone. All right. I'll show you guys what I was working on besides my machine knitting. I started my yarn, my project for my trip. So I am knitting. This is literally all that I have now of it. I lose patterns so quickly. What is this called? I have no idea. It's Spring Fling by The Petite Knit. Not Petite Knit or Petite Knitter. It's The Petite Knit. And it is um, this, which I just realized my flowers are going to be green. They're not going to be pink, but I think it's going to be okay. Uh, hand seaming mattress stitch. For sure. And here is what I've done so far. I am in the second row. I do have beaded silk and sequins because Pam convinced me I need to do it. I did the first section with beaded silk and sequins and then the dot of the flower will have it. And so really the, this couldn't be the worst project to bring traveling because it's four skeins of yarn in one project. So we've got the green, mm. we have beaded silk and sequins, <laughs> and then we have this double stranded, right? So here's this. Do you think you will change your mind? OMG, and that damn dog got into my green yarn. Oh. I said, I told Susan I'd give it an hour. I gave it 20 minutes <laughs> and then I just cut. I just started cutting things. I didn't care. I don't mind weaving in ends. That's really what it came down to. Yeah. I don't mind weaving in ends. I was filled with torture. I forgot to bring all my yarn that I need to wind, but so pretty. I would like to redo it. The yellow, even though I love the yellow, it's not going to look very flowery. It's going to look psychedelic flowers because the flowers yeah. are lime green with pink, but I still love it. Very fun. Spring Fling, Lisa Martin Bowman. And we have lots of options in the store. I am knitting it on a four because I did actually gauge swatch. But I think this will be a fun project. I'm also bringing Saturday Shrug because that's a really easy one to walk in knit and stuff like that. I have it packed. I do have all my stuff in my other room. Well, that's a start. And I leave tomorrow, but I did. Book my um, where, let's see. I booked where I'm parking the car. You know what else, oh. what did we forget? Literally everything right here. <laughs> so hold we on did. a second. Okay. I'm gonna let you uh. talk about this while I get the other thing. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh, and, yeah. And, all right. So we're gonna take a look at our grand prize that we do once a month. We have our Caramel Flavor Family. 
Lots of flavors in there. Dark roasted mocha, single malt scotch, Cape Cod sea salt, vanilla, deep chocolate. Uh, I believe there's a maple one. Lots of flavors in there for everyone. We've got our class supply tin, which has all these goodies in it. Our, oops, let me get right there, tape measure, folding scissors, tapestry needle. We've got locking safety pins. We've got snag-free markers in two sizes. That is coming on my trip as long with, as well as knits that fit. That is good. That should take care of everything you need. It does. That's we've, what the nice thing is. We've got our magnifier readers in the sparkly gold leopard. We have some stitch stoppers in our candy sprinkles flavor. I know it's not a flavor, but there you go. Oh my God, that phrase is in my book. I'm starting to use it. What? There you go. There we are. There, you know, there you go. <laughs> so we've got our multi-strand magnetic bracelet, super sparkly. You can twist it up and make it a little bit smaller. This is a sample of the hat that is in the prize. You get the kit, not the finished item. So this is Whispery Hat. And that is the kit. And you even get this really nice leather tag that will let people know how to care for it if it needs a bath. Do not put this in the machine. This is hand wash only. We've got three patterns that you can do with the kit. We have Ant Eater. We have Autobahn, which is a nice long wristed mitt. Is that a word? Wristed? <laughs> I don't what? think wristed? so. Wristed? Wristed? I don't think well, so. Sure. It has a long wrist. It could be cuff. whatever we want. It has a long cup. That's right. And that is the full pattern for the Whispery Hat. And we have our little crossbody bag in this gorgeous rose pink, rose gold. Can I undo with one hand? Look at you. Takes a hip. All right, right, you have lots and lots of pockets. You can keep some cards there. Keep your important stuff in the zipper pocket. More cards. And another zip pouch. Where? Oh, there it is. There's the shoulder strap and there is a wristlet in there as well i'm not sure i can zip it with one hand i got it. it oh i forgot that one and oh wait plus the hanging you did all I the did hanging those. we Good have job. this really cute little notebook that is blank as in unlined it has a cute little kitty on the inside though very cute on each page and how you get entered is every time you make a purchase, you get one entry per purchase and it is cumulative. So the more purchases you make, the more entries you get. And we will draw on Tuesday, April 2nd. Yes. For those of you who signed up for the um, not so politically correct stitch stoppers, they went out on Saturday. So you should be getting them today. I'm so excited. For those of you who did not participate that wanted to, we still have a few more spots available. So I'm excited to hear what everyone thinks of the first set that goes out. And there's definitely a zippy one in that. Good morning, Joyce. All right, our daily prize. We have a beautiful skein of a Malabrigo in the worsted. This is Vetiver, which is a gorgeous green. It, tends to be more of a um, sage green, but lends itself to be more green than blue, but it is so beautiful. Oh, Stacy Teen got hers. Woo nice. Stacy, what did you think? <laughs> Once people get them, you guys are welcome to post them because we do have a few left for people who want to do it. Um, we have included the barber pole pattern which you have enough to do the small or the medium this is a really good pattern to learn how to do cabling because there's most of it is knit to purl to and then every once in a while you've got these offset cables very easy to do uh, we do teach you how to do it slipping onto a cable needle but you could easily do it on um cabling without a cable needle but it's beautiful if you want it wound just let us know um that you want your stuff wound, put it in the notes or call us on the phone and we are happy to wind it. Um, our thoughts are we would rather mess it up on our watch than you get it home and it 
becomes a cluster and you can't fix it. Good morning, good morning. Oh, Stacey, I'm glad you love them. Wait till you see the other ones. <laughs> I hate to have to wait for once a month because they're so fun. But I, I'm glad, I thought the packaging's super fun. I put a little treat in for everybody and a little love note. So, so happy to have you, um, have you guys join us. But if you're interested, we do have a few spots available and you can actually go backwards. So you can get this month's and then sign up for the other ones too. So it's very exciting to do. You'll see a really big round of advertising for that. Um, coming up, let's see what else coming up. Our retreat's coming up. That's exciting. So for those of you who signed up, you should get um, an email this afternoon or tonight, kind of um, catching us up and what's going on. For those of you who did not um, do the retreat this time, we will, I already have, um, I've already signed up for the dates for 2025 and we will advertise it uh, afterwards for those who wanna join us in Auburn for a beautiful three night, four day retreat for a really well good price. It's gonna be lots of fun. I'm having so much fun planning and buying stuff for it. So, so exciting. To enter to get the daily prize, very easy. Uh, it's all done by uh, engagement. So if you see something that you like, you wanna give us some extra loves, just uh, click on the emoji. You're gonna get one entry for every emoji. For every, um, I swear I spelled that wrong. There we go. For every comment, you're going to get five entries. So good morning, lovelies. We'll give you that. And if you share to your story and share to your feed, uh, you're going to get, as long as you post where you, comment where you posted it, you're going to get 11 entries for that. Here we go. And there we go. 11 entries. Based on that, we have this fantastic little contest thing that does all the work for us. And they changed it recently to like a, I want to call it we uh, Price is Right. But you can't <laughs> see the number, right? No. You're like, doo -doo -doo -doo. it's like a fake circle. And... Carrie nice. Sanchez, congratulations. It's been a while since she won. Yeah. This is a good one for her. It is her. a good one. So Carolyn is definitely local. Um, so I'll let you finish that while I get it all together. Carolyn, next time you come in, let us know you have a prize and we will get it from the cabinet for you. If you go on vacation and you can't make it in and you can't wait for it, next time you make an order, let us know in the notes you have a prize and we will include it in your pretty pink package. I don't know if you guys know, but we have some books that are 50% off. Thank you for sharing, Joyce. We've got some good ones here. Carolyn is definitely tends to be lucky. She does. Uh-huh. I think it's, she has the best attitude. There's the yarn in the back, this column on the right next to the bags that Daniel did her tank in. And I love the cotton on the left. I have not used it yet, but it is on my list. All right, let me write Carolyn Sanchez. St. Patrick's Day is coming. We still have a few of these super Wait, cute little- It's done. It's done. I fibbed. That's all right. We have two <laughs> bags left. For... It's coming next year. That's all right. That's on my list. Plan so ahead. Like, <laughs> we do have cat bags coming. Oh, nice. And a favorite key color bag. What? Yes. The, le the letter P. Oh, Not yes, P. those, yes. I was thinking green peas. I'm like, wait, no. what? No. Yeah, no, those are gonna be awesome. I'm excited. Brenda's mom's working on those. All right. I'm gonna talk about our yarn first. So you guys know we have been showcasing spring 2024 lines. Um, brand new, fun, beautiful, gorgeous. Um, I don't know when this came in. 
but we opened it on Saturday <laughs> and we both decided we were going to knit something over the weekend. Susan is definitely likes a challenge yeah. and knit something in 24 hours. I'm wearing it. Stunning. This is a one skein wonder if you want a little bit of fun. Um, I just think it's so beautiful. So we are talking about Lang Linello, which is a blended linen yarn. I did pin the link, Susan's posting it. There is 308 yards per skein. They call this a DK weight, but it definitely knits up worsted. And what gauge did you get on yours? I have no idea. It's listed as worsted on. Oh, this one is? This one is worsted. But the, the other, other one, one is not. Yeah. It is a self-striping blend of 40% linen, 32% cotton, 28% viscose. What's exciting, in this line, it's self-striping. In the other line that we have, I, is that Juniper Moon? It's a different vendor, I, uh, Wool Addicts. Wool Addicts. The same yarn. Yeah but different dye. So you can combine the two if you are looking for um, doing striping. This is gorgeous. We have knit patterns, we have crochet patterns, we have men's patterns, but I'm gonna showcase what she did right now. Um, let me take it off. And I'm gonna let Susan talk about it since she, she did whip this out. <laughs> So pretty. It is a one skein wonder. Did you use most of it? Uh, yeah, uh, probably 85%. Mm -hmm. I think I have the extra in my bag. This was super fun. I used a size nine, believe it or not. Wow. I know. I, I kept going, is it too loose? Is it too no. loose? And my girlfriend on Sunday, she's like, no, no, I really like it. Keep going. And As you're almost done with it. Well, no, I was still I was still up in here wow. looking at it, and then I did the little bit of lace here, and I'm like, okay, this is the point of no return. I either rip it out and use a smaller, or I keep going. Opted to keep going. So it's got a little bit of garter stitch here. It's got some eyelet and a little more garter. And then what they called a chain stitch here, which is a slip stitch pattern. I still think it's too loose, but I love it. I don't think it's too loose at all. What do you, what do you think out there? I love the texture that you get in this. Yeah, the texture. This is, is neat. what we were talking about on the other yarn that it's more of a thick thin, and that is because yeah. it's a different fiber. The pattern on this one is May I borrow this please? You can really see the texture in this section. Oh, it's just gorgeous. And there's stockinette there's garter, yarn over knit two together and slips with the yarn in front and the edge has a yarn over. It does. This is beautiful. And a slip stitch on this side. Thank you, Pat. People seem to like it. Isn't it gorgeous? I think a tank out of this yarn, mm, so, so beautiful because of the really free flowing that you can get. Um, so beautiful. So we'll just look at the colors on this one. This is color number 66. And you can see it is just everything is happiness and joy. We're going to start right here. It's the most beautiful, um, peachy. It's like, a, it's a cool, I wouldn't say apricot because apricot tends to be warm, but it's a peach color going into a uh, sunshine yellow. Then it slowly changes to this beautiful, bright tangerine. We have my favorite fuchsia going into violet. Then almost a cornflower blue, an aqua blue, a lime green, and then even a yellow green. Would that work on the knitting machine? Absolutely. Yeah. How do I know? Because I've already swatched it. I swatched the other one just to see, nice. uh, but beautiful. Let me see what the gauge is on this one. So this was, you said on a nine needle? Yeah, and I didn't stretch it or I didn't manipulate it. I just laid it out and let it dry. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, eighteen. So wow. you could easily go tighter. Yeah. But I don't mind this. If you wanted, like she's on a nine, for her to get twenty, you would go to a seven. For Susan. That's pretty fitting. good. Absolutely. Oh, Stacy said she did one in Rios. I love the yardage. Again, this is all more plant fibers. The viscose isn't, but 40% linen, 32% cotton, 28% viscose. Under $25 for over 300 yards. I would use this again. I love that. Yeah. Maybe take a little more time. Maybe, yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put that there. We have other colors, and it's um, the way you did it on the website. Susan's been doing the photos for the website. I think it's really cool. She has the picture and then what all the colors are because you can't see it in the <laughs> you cannot, skein you cannot see what it, it is. I feel for people who are spring colored, color number um, 117, you can see this one. I'm going to pull it up so we can show you. Which color 54? 54 is the bright one. That's what we're doing. Um, here we go. So this one right now, color number 66, I lied. Why don't I, oh, why don't I see it? It's 60, it's, let me see. It's 117. Oh. It's the so stupid. So it's going to be this, yeah. Okay, so here's 117. Now, you would not know, looking at this one, that all these colors in there, but it definitely is cool. We have rosebud pink. It goes into some, and you can see the rosebud right here. Wisteria, a little bit of uh, seafoam green, very light aqua. And then it goes into a kind of goldenrod. Can you see it right there? The other thing that I like when they do this, if you're a woman's medium, you would need four of these. Nice. To make a long sleeve sweater. I like that. Um, Little Lulu would be a great fast yeah. pattern. I really, I mean, I think people get tired of me saying Little Lulu. It's such a good pattern. It's... It's a pattern that you can just take the numbers and do whatever you want. Any stitch pattern on the inside. Do it plain. Do a yarn over two together. Do some cabling. It's just a really great pattern. So this is color number 117. Does anyone have any questions or? Lisa asked, how many skeins do you need for a tank? Um, a tank, I would say three. I would say three. Check the yardage two on to, the pattern. I'm going to say course. two to three, but um, we can look in a minute for more. This is color number 66. This is really a winner for me because yeah. it's all my favorite colors. Um, did I say 66? 65. Goodness gracious. You know, the numbering sc screws me up. Yeah. Can, the numbering convention they use is you have to really figure out what you're looking at. Okay, so I'm going to say in real life, it's brighter than this. There is that lighter pink, but it is burnt orange, scarlet red, red violet. And there is this one little section of the lighter pink that you can see from the outside. This is color number 65. So now, gonna... normally we would not do the one we liked the best, but I was like, nope, we got to do the prettiest, I what we thought was the prettiest. such a hard time deciding because there, I like several of them. Yeah. I mean, the, the bright one spoke loudest. This but... one, I think it's gorgeous too, because it's I, like fall. Honestly, I like them all. Yeah, that one. Uh, just, I like this one too. It's so hard. All right, we're going to show you some other patterns that you can do with this. Lisa, we will look for a tank while we're here. So this is, may I borrow this, pr please? This is the one we did it out of. It's a free pattern. Easy, fast, fun. This is what I call therapy knitting. There's really nothing difficult about it, but just fun knitting. I had enough yarn. I did probably eight extra rows, and I could have done more. 
So you can make it, I just kept doing garter stitch at the end. Yep. All right, here's another one. This is Botanic Shawl by Stephen West. You would need, oh, you could do it with the solid. Right? Where That's where I put that. It's middle Hold column on. top. Because this would be gorgeous for that. I love. Um, yeah, I, I just like love the way the color changes on this one. This is. This is the other one from the different company. It's called Pride, but look at it. Ooh. It's literally the same yarn. It is, yes. Same base, but I love, this is what it looks like solid. This is, oh my God, look at this one, right? Mm-hmm. I'll put that over there. Lots of options for this one. They called this one DK and this one worsted, but they are exactly the same. And they're both 20 stitches over four inches. Yeah. So this one, you would use a solid with the self-striping. Um, you would need two of the Lino and two of the Pride. So two of each. Two of each. Nice. And the, look at how gorgeous this is. For someone who's a little fiber sensitive, this would be a really nice option. I just want to see. Or not. Oh, there we go. It's big. Oh, it's just so pretty. I mean, you could do one of each. Right, and just make it a little and smaller. And just make it smaller. And then when you're done, you're done. That's kind of what I would do. Two, I'm like, ooh, that's a lot of knitting. I've had this pattern for a long time, and I have not done it yet. But wow. All right, here's, this is another, this is Fragmentation. I couldn't help myself, folks. I had to show you that I one. I don't really understand that. I think they're starting in a different part of the ball. And I wonder if they seamed them. I don't actually know There's how they did that one. There's something there. Because they're definitely not knit at the same time. No. But I, would, I can't imagine he would have oh, it. Oh, wait, I saw it. I think you join it as you go. Yeah. I'll have to click on the real pattern and see what they say. Let's see. I'm curious. A one and a half needle. Not. No, thank you. Oh. It's, it is modular. Yeah. So you must be picking it up. Seven vertical wedges individually as you stripe your colors. Each new wedge is a... T oh, so you're just joining it with like a knit two together at the end. Okay. Better than seeming. Absolutely. Do you have any tanks in here? No. I don't know. I honestly, I don't know. Okay, let me see. I want to go to here because I want to look for tanks for, because I think it's a cute tank top. Um, oh, look at the emotional support <laughs> chicken is everywhere. All right, so this, I'm going to say it's worsted because that's what I believe it is in my heart. Because uh, what did you get? 16? I think you said 18. 18. Pretty easily you could get to something else. Uh, we'll say knitting. I will do crochet in a minute. Clothing. Tops. We'll say sleeveless, because that's what a tank top is. That's funny. I've never searched under tops. I always do sweater. How weird. All right. So here's some. Ooh, I love this one. I like the v-neck. Oh, here's the top that I made. See? Yeah. You could definitely... Uh, I, it's a little thin, but it would work. This is the top that I just made this weekend. So cute. Easy, easy, easy. That's the Tulsa tank. All right, let's look for what I'm kind of thinking. I like a V-neck. And I always make sure, you guys, if I'm doing tank tops, here's my thing. Just live with your arms. Don't let society tell us that our arms are ugly. But I don't want my bra to show. So something like this, I would do more knitting. Really, it's less in the straight section. This is what creates the depth. You can see that you've done all these decreases and like from here up. You don't want the depth of that to be longer than what your armhole depth, maybe an inch more. Like mine's eight. So I would do like a eight and a half, eight and three quarters because I don't want my bra to show. Yeah, and you would have to change the body length, right? No, the if, length well, of your armpit is here. This is what creates this. Okay, yeah. But you can do the body length however you yeah. want. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, okay, let's see. I do like this company. 
the favorite things. I think that's cute. I would oh, probably fun. want a whiter strap there because I do wear a bra, but I think that's attractive. At least said this would be fun. I like the texture. Mm hmm. I like the V-neck lower in the front. I mean, not everyone's a V-neck, but that's cute. I think this is really attractive. I would do it obviously a little longer. I like the little ties at the shoulders. My daughter would definitely wear that and she'd wear it cropped for sure. That's beautiful. I'm gonna add that to our queue. Um, you find, okay, I think this is a cute one too. This, just this, a little shell. Nice. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Do you see that? Too low. Your whole side boob's gonna hang out. I know that's a thing, but not when you've had a few kids. Yeah, right? Side boob doesn't quite look the same. Let's see. This is what my daughter would wear. I think these are really cute. So if you have younger people, this is definitely um, a thing. She wore a top yesterday. Ooh, look at this That's one. Nice. You could use two colors and that would be one at color one, color two. That's attractive and easy. Lisa, that would be fun because you get some striping. You could do a solid and this and the other. Lots of, I like her patterns. This is Dando. Oh, yeah. She's got really cute patterns. Oh, drop stitch. Mm -hmm. Easy. This is like one of those things that I was talking about, kind of like um, the other sweater. Little Lulu. Mm, yeah. It's just a square shape, and you get to do what things in it. I mean, look how cute that is. Oversized. The linen makes it great. You don't have to make it that oversized. All right, we have two more colors. And, uh, ooh, love this one. This is color number 57. This is, I would say, people who like summer colors, this would be it. It's very warm. It's a warm spring. So I'll show you there because you can kind of see inside it a little bit. And then I will show you here. 57? Yeah. All right, so you can see definitely warmer. The pumpkin, there's like a really pretty pumpkin section that's warm. We have carnation pink, we have some sand, we have some, um, what do we call that green that we sold out of, of our linen? Dewdrop. Dewdrop, thank you. I was like, it's not sea glass, it's <laughs> definitely dewdrop. It's that um, really light blue green but so beautiful and it blends so well into the next one. It looks almost like confetti. All right, oh. here is, ooh. This is the one that uses both. Yes. I love this Okay, one. so this is Hinterstein, the most gorgeous. Her designs are incredible. This used, um, wow two different colors of Linello and Wool Addicts Lang Pride. See, so it does show you, correct what we were saying. So let's open it up. I think we're gonna have to look at the real pattern, but you yeah. can see, oh, I love this one. Lisa, this would be so cute. Anyone looking to make a top? Oh, gorgeous. That's sideways. It is. That piece well, of it is. I don't think all of it is. But. Some of it is. Look at this. Now, interesting. 25 stitches. I wonder if she got hmm. it. Oh, so she did kind of do the math. 20 stitches. So that is about right that I would think. It's gorgeous. All right. We have this fun little crocheted zigzag uses two skeins and an e-hook that's gorgeous I could do that you could do that see oh, that's what I didn't show you my progress no we'll have to see it 
You may have to watch tomorrow. I, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> okay, here's another one. This is just really fun. Interesting. Any okay, square-esque. And it's starting in the center yeah. and then going out. Gorgeous. We have a little dress. He's so cute. Mm -hmm. I would do the skirt longer. Yeah. It looks like it's, you know, a little Oompa Loompa-ish. Like you're wide. Not that toddlers aren't wide because they are. They got a little diaper butt. Oh, yeah. Then we have this rainbow vest. Here's another one. This is the same color that we used. That's fun. We'll show you what it all looks like. The boho. Oh, mm. so cute. So different. Yeah. And you can make that shorter. I can see Carolyn wearing something like this. Yeah. Um, ooh, Isn't that pretty? Love this one. This is this person's third bias top. Here's what it looks like. I think that's very attractive. Crocheted? No, no. Yeah. Really? No, but no, look at no. G. So the, both. So they must oh, okay. be doing something. I wonder if they're joining the... I don't know. That one's been on my list also. It's free. This would be... Hmm, wouldn't this be fun for Summer Olympics? Ooh, yeah. If you guys did not know, we do a Summer Olympic one. I could start early. It's knitted in one piece. It has a V-neck in the front. This is not a row-by-row row pattern in different sizes. Oh, it's a tutorial. It's a recipe. We would not be doing that for the Olympics, but it's gorgeous. I can see you wearing this. Yeah. I like that. Don't worry. We are scouring for our Olympic sweater, and we're trying to pull a few more men's ones. I think this would be gorgeous in one of these. Uh, either in the solid, or if you like a little fun color, for sure you could do um, the striping one. This is Jane Richmond's Men's Classic Raglan Pullover. Very wearable design. We Ooh, I like this one. Yeah. The Montreal, Montrealer? Montre Montreal-er. <laughs> yeah, Montrealer. I think that's very cute. And I like the idea of doing just a striping and then one solid. I like this little color right here. Mm -hmm. Pretty, pretty. We also have, ooh, Celeste Sweater Man. Again, one self-striping and a solid would give you, yield you something gorgeous. Look at how happy they are wearing theirs. He's so proud. So cute. Spice by Andrea Mowry. That's another one. Nice. Mm-hmm. I do see men wearing linen, a little bit more linen. Dennis used to wear linen. He did? Yeah. I could see that. Uh, Corcra by Carol Feller. I like her designs, too. Isn't that interesting? Fun texture. Mm-hmm. All right, we have one more color, which I think is so gorgeous. This is Fall in a Ball, color number 55, but look at how rich this is. Um, So gorgeous. Let me find the actual color, but you can see the forest green. There is sage green. Oh, here it is right here. Oh, it's beautiful. We've got really evergreen, and then we have more of a, it's almost chartreuse, but not bright. Going into yellow, burnt orange, red, even a beautiful brown. Definitely fall in a ball. I'm not even going to showcase what were my other thing. <laughs> the other thing? No, nope, I'm going to let you do it. We're getting okay. close to being done. So I'm like, we could look at more patterns. People want more patterns. Talk about classes. You love 55. Well, let's see what one was 55. <laughs> I don't know. This is 54, 57, 55. Oh, this is 55. Yeah. We're like, the Which fall. Which one is it? <laughs> I love fall colors. Oh, I know what I wanted to look for more. One second. Because there are some fun crocheted ones. Let's go back here. To just crochet. 
because I think linen crocheted is really nice. Let's go to advanced search. We were looking um, for some things yesterday or the other day. We're gonna call it worsted. We are gonna call it, let's scroll down, crochet, clothing. You could say sweaters, but I'm, I like tops because I see it as a T. Okay, and then scroll up. I like to do hot right now because I wanna see what's the most popular. Okay, this is kind of cute. Very fun. Yep. I think you could do it in like the yellow. Look, there's two, it looks like there's three colors. One could be your striped and then you could have two solids. That's fun. Joyce, that would look cute on you and great for where you live. Make that longer, that would be fun. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's easy. Especially if you're going in the ditch, even though they don't tell you to, but I like to go in the chain space. Um, I like a lot of these, but I have something kind of, okay. Achoo, excuse me. Um, I think this is pretty. Mm -hmm. Just using a self-striping yarn. I like that you would get direction on that. And the linen is gonna knit up a little bit thinner than a traditional worsted weight. I think this is attractive. Kind of breaks up and gives you a couple extra lines. Crochet tops are hot, hot, hot right now. Oh, that one's fun. Yeah. This is Barocco. It is. Recognize the model. Sesame. I always think, is it their family that's doing it? Hmm, I don't know. Um, I like this one too. It's cute. Okay. Cute. All right. So we'll talk about what we are wearing. You guys know me. May I borrow this please? Yes, you may. Very attractive, <laughs> one skein of color number 54. So beautiful, congratulations to Susan and her uh, serious knit-a-thon. I think she finished Sunday. Yeah. Cast on Saturday night. Yeah, after work. After work, finished Sunday. And you threw it. Yes. Because she is normally a picker, but with linen it's a little bit easier to throw for her. All right. I think so too, because the yarn's slippery. It's, yes, actually, because I- You can't so get, often, it's harder to get gauge. Yeah, every so often I would switch back to my, my left hand and then I'm like, it's slipping off. I didn't even think about the fact that it was slippery. Yeah, it's- But it's not slippy in that it's gonna fall off the needles. No. No, it's just slippy in my hand. In so your I hand. my other hand, so yeah. that kind of changed everything. This one is called Arwen. It is a keyhole scarf. I used blue hair and rayon metallic. So just a cute little keyhole. This has been around a very, very long time. So you start down here on this end, do your little bit of lace and you have a keyhole and then just a whole bunch more of the lace. Eileen, she is a knitting machine. And you finish off with a little floof at the end so gorgeous what was the name of this one arwen arwen a-r-w-e-n she has you a lot of her variations she's got this she's got hats fingerless mitts so cute lots of little things very cute and fun all right so that's it my friends uh, we will pack up your orders. We're seeing lots of orders come in today. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll be back tomorrow for Live in the Boutique. But today at 3 o'clock, we will do Knit, Sip, and Hook with Boss Lady. So we'll see everyone soon. Have an amazing Tuesday. Bye-bye.